Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to put in a content tab for our homework help. And in homework help, it would be wonderful for your students if you put contact information, contact information for the ACE, as well as contact information and access information for NetTutor. So what we're going to do is add content area and we're going to call it homework help. Mine is called Homework Help 2 because I already have this in my class. So um, in order to create it again, I have to call it something else. So mine's Homework Help 2, yours is just going to be Homework Help. So now that we have our Homework Help here, all we have to do is click it. Once we click it, we're going to build a content area and we're going to add a web link. I have sent to you everything that you need in email all the information and you will just need to copy and paste it. So we're going to do ACE first. So the first thing we're going to do is add the content area, do a web link, and now we're going to use Homework Help ACE as the name of the document. All I have to do is copy it and paste it, go back to my document and all I'm doing is switching in between the forms. Um, from the browser to my Word document. So this is my link. This is not a tool provider, so we don't have to click any of that. And I'm going to use this description. So here's our information, and you can see it's all in there. We have um, what we are, where we're located on each campus, and our telephone numbers for each campus so that if a student needs assistance, they can actually call us. So now all I have to do is find the Submit button, which is hidden by my head, <laughs> and click Submit. Okay. You will notice right here is our homework help, and when the student clicks it, it actually takes them to a form that they fill out, and this information is sent to us in the library. As the second component to this, we're going to actually go ahead and put NetTutor in there, so we're going to do a web link. This web link will work much like the other one did. We will call it NetTutor Online Tutoring. And again, all I'm doing is copying and pasting the information. This is our link. And we have to click that this is a tool provider. Okay. So this is our key. This is our secret. This again is um, actually uh, included on your email. All of this information is. You don't need custom um, parameters, but this is the description that we would like you to use. Of course, our descriptions always, if possible, point our students to the ACE for help. So even in NetTutor, we prefer, you know, if the student can, we prefer them to come into the ACE for assistance. So once you get this information in there, all you have to do is click Submit. In the updated version of Blackboard, the Submit button kind of hovers down here at the bottom. And now you can see that your students now have access to homework help through the ACE and also online tutoring through NetTutor if they can't come in. When they click NetTutor, this is what they see. Again, a reminder that we have NetTutor, I mean that we have NetTutor, that we have ACE, and that if the students want to, they can come in and see us. We click Continue, and students can actually go through here and pick what they need tutoring in. So if they need tutoring in criminal justice, they click it. And you will notice 
that when you click something, it tells you that there's no tutors right now, but you can view the schedule. And it lets you know when Net Tutor offers tutoring in this particular subject and the student can come uh, back during that time period. That is true for everything. Math and English, um, normally, they have a tutor at all times. So as you're working through this, if you have a question or anything, do not hesitate to ask. This is actually about helping our students do well in the course content in our courses. It's um, hopefully going to help our completion rates and hopefully it will most importantly help our students learn the content of our courses and do well in our courses as a result of learning the content. So if you have questions, let me know.